Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and it's a video today on how you actually should be aligning yourself to putts. Now, this isn't so much about how to align the body, although that is obviously very important. I've done videos about that in the past. This is specifically about aligning the putter face and the ball to the hole. Now, this is something that a lot of people do. It is also something a lot of people hate to do. It is one of those things. I don't want to say it's either love, hate, but it is a little bit either love, hate about actually aligning the ball to your intended target line and then aligning that ball up to the putter as well. So the putter sits square to your intended target line. Now, if you're someone like a Jason Day, for example, he likes to look down on a perfectly clear ball. So he doesn't like anything to interfere with the actual view between his putter face and the ball. He likes to look down on just a plain white surface. Now you compare that to someone else, probably the best putter of his era, Tiger Woods. He always likes to have that line on top of his ball so he could line it up precisely to where he wants to go. So, who is right? In truth, both are. Um, because with putting and with alignment, you need to make sure that you're comfortable with what you're doing. Because if you're not comfortable over a putt, the chances of actually finding the target, finding the hole, are going to be greatly reduced. But what I'll do is I'll give you a bit of an insight into both ways of actually thinking and hopefully help you hold some more putts. Right guys, so this is where it all comes down. I'm gonna presume that you've gone through your alignment routine. So you've crouched down behind the ball. You've judged the actual break of the putt. I've done videos on this in the past. Please check out the channel for those as well. But this putt here is just slightly from right to left. It's about a ball outside the right of the hole, depending on how hard you wanna hit it. Now you've got a choice here. You can line your ball up to your intended target line. So if I think that this putt is going to break from about a ball outside the right, I'm going to line my putt just to the right of the hole. However, you can also think about it as aligning the ball to the point where you think it's going to break, which is a slight change in terminology, but there is a difference there. If you're lining it up to the point that you think it's actually going to break at, that means that you're actually visualizing and thinking about the weight of the putt as well. Now that is my preferred method because of that factor. You're almost subconsciously thinking about how hard you want to be hitting the putt. So I would like you to guys give a go. If you are lining the ball up, look at the point that you think it's going to start to break and line the ball up to that because you're going to be feeling and thinking about actually weight control as well. If you're someone who likes to look down on a clear ball, so a Jason Day, for example, think of it as a similar way. Just feel that you're picking out something on the green that you're aiming at, that it's going to break in from that direction. So this is slightly different because you're looking down on the ball, which is clear. There's actually no interference at all, but you're still picking a point on the green that you think the putter is going to break from. So for this particular putt, if I was looking down on a clear ball, I'd be looking at it to hit the putt to here before it starts to break. That would allow me to judge the weight correctly and allow the ball to turn without having any interference from the ball. So we're looking at this putt now from a different perspective, from behind the hole. Now what I'm gonna do with my first putt here is I'm gonna line this up using the actual alignments on the ball. So most balls now that you get will have something to help align. This tailor-made has a tall preferred X, which is in a nice straight line and I can use that to line up. If you wanna draw your own line on your ball, by all means do that. So my first method is I know it's gonna break about a ball from the right. So I'm looking at a point just to the right of the hole and I'm then aligning my ball up to it. So this is what I would class as almost a bit of a 2D option. So you're looking at the point that you think it's going to actually break in from at the hole. So you're not looking at an intermediate target. You're looking at a point near the hole and then just feeling the actual amount that it's going to break. Again, this isn't a wrong way to do it, but it does give you slightly limited um, options, I believe. But give this a go and see how it feels. So that's lined up just to a ball outside the right. That stroke should break in just about. So that's the first option of actually getting it aligned up using the actual marking on the ball, using a bit of a 2D option. So picking the point next to the hole, not thinking about anything in between. 
Now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the alignment on the ball once more. So I know how much it's going to break in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on a point which is about two feet from the hole where I know that this putt is going to break in from. I know because I've already hit the putt, but I feel that it's going to break in from if I'd have read it from behind. Now I'm going to line it up to that point. I'm going to focus on that point so I'm feeling the actual pace of when it's going to break. And during my routine here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the hole to judge the pace, and I'm going to look at that point that it's going to break from, and then execute as well. Well, I've been just absolutely robbed. Robbed blind. But you know what? I'm okay. It's a nice day-ish, so I'm going to let it pass. And the last one I'm going to do is the one without any kind of covering on the ball at all. I can't tell you I'm seething, but you know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the actual blank of the ball. So I'm not going to use any type of alignment aid on this. I'm going to try and just feel the actual break. Now, this is a little bit more difficult to do, in my opinion, because you're almost taking out a, an opportunity to not cheat exactly, but aid your alignment, which is still allowed in the rules of golf and it seems to add such an advantage. So I'm going to just totally leave the ball blank on top. I'm still going to use the same process of feeling the point of which it's going to break in from. Just try and get my putter aligned to that and give it a go from there. My advice for you guys as always is to go away and try each one comment in the box below let me know how you get on as well i always love to hear your feedback right guys thank you so so much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on my other social media platforms as well and we will see you down here next time